And hopefully, okay, yes, we have here joining us from that induction, Dr. Abdul Latif Shitu, is the Executive Director of Research and Strategy and Chairman of the NGF Induction Committee. Thank you, Dr. Shitu, for joining us. Thank you. Uh, just a quick one. Would you, how would you describe the induction? I mean, you've gone three days now. Today's the third day. How far would you say the induction has been impactful? It's gone very well and it's been very impactful. You have to realize that the induction program is the flagship program of the Nigerian Governors Forum. Uh, and this is the three, uh, this will be the three season. I mean, we've had 2011, 2019, and this is 2023. Every four, four years, this program is put, each time there's an election, this program is, uh, uh, is put together so that we can induct the new governors. You have to recall that these governors are coming from different inclinations, different orientation, and different persuasions. So, uh, you know, when they come, when they're elected, so we put them through these programs where uh, they can learn, you know, acquire governance skills and then share experiences from uh, governors who have been there. So, and then we bring in governors from all over the world. Uh, right now, we have two former governors from America. We have the governor, former governor of Maryland, Martin O'Malley, and then we have uh, the former governor of Virginia, uh, Terry McAuliffe. Uh, both of them are here for, for, for the program, and they're also sharing international best practice and uh, ideas on uh, governance generally. Okay. And then we have also the governor from uh, Kisumu County in Kenya, who is also here, and other international dignitaries. Okay, but so you say you do this every four years, and in imparting the knowledge and governance skills, as you say, how well would you say your your past participants have used the 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 knowledge they gained from the induction in the course of service? Would you say they used it effectively? Yeah, they've used it. you have to understand that uh, we have also what we call the program, uh, you know, state peer review mechanism, where, uh, you know, states' uh, governors learn from each other and uh, share experiences on, you know, uh, various aspects of governance. And this has been ongoing, uh, you know, uh, all the time. So when they come and, uh, and, and, and we have this sort of engagement, uh, they, you know, they try to imbibe all of these uh, values and, and knowledge. Um, this 2023 edition is particularly uh, different, it's unique. Uh, we have, uh, it's constructed, we have like four streams. Uh, the first one is the one you, we did on Sunday, uh, which is a farewell dinner and live after office for outgoing governors, governors who are leaving. And they can share experiences with their colleagues coming in and then trying to say, how do you, how do you define your, you have to start planning your exit from day one. And then uh, also share the experiences, all the challenges and the, uh, I think, you know, the issues that they encounter uh, for the eight years they've been in office or four years they've been in office in some cases. So uh, that was the first. And then the second is to, uh, to move into the mainstream where they talk about the act of governance and managing the process of governance. You know, then you have the third stream that talked about, you know, looking at the economic management and development finance issues. Uh, and then the fourth stream will be focused largely on the development partners and donor agency intervention in Nigeria. If you recall, most of these interventions are at the state levels. So we have also introduced the third day, uh, which is a new addition to the industrial program. Uh, you know, we bring in all the development partners, World Bank, UNICEF, Bill Gates, Language Foundation, a number, a host of, a lot of other development partners who are making so much impact uh, in the country, whether in, in areas of health, education, um, uh, human capital, environment, and what have you. Mm. And so they're all here to also impact knowledge and talk about the kinds of things they are doing in the states. If you recall, all the development partners are now working in all the states. All right. So some are in five states, eight states, six. So, you know, they're coming 
also to share experience and make presentations on what they're doing. So new governors elect who are just coming in are going to be listening to them mm. and taking notes of all of these uh, interventions. Okay. Uh, and, Dr. And, and Dr. Kosichi, what, what, so, just to let you know that we, we're completely out of time and to thank you for coming on into the news and channels television. But know this that Nigerians and those who are going to be governed by these men and their teams would be holding them accountable to see how well they've taken the lessons that they've gotten from this induction, particularly in this year. Thank you so much for coming on today. Thank you. Thank you.